what we try to do is we just want to have some different angle to what people know about or think about Marlboro's of Inborn and Pinot from this region. I'm Takaaki from Folio Vineyard and I'm making some uh, Sauvignon and Pinot from Marlboro. How New Zealand Sauvignon Bond is producing is quite, quite unique. It's very, very different. I mean, it's been successful, so it's quite a good thing. And also, it's just one of the only uh, region that has been this successful in the last 50 years. And that's a great recipe, somehow, that everyone, uh, not everyone, but this certain amount of people in the world love that style. We do get a certified organic from Biogra. Not putting it into my labels because it's not the most important thing for us. We have a range in about 150 meals in the springtime, but last year we only had like 10 meals. So in that case, we do use irrigation, but other than that, we haven't. So okay. I, I don't want vine to die. One of the reasons why I decided to turn off the irrigation is I've been drinking French wine when I grow up, and then they always talk about the vintage. I find if you're irrigating your vineyard, that means every year you got the exact same sure. raining pattern, sure. which I think is actually masking the characteristic of the vintage. Yeah. I personally don't like that sweet and sour combination, so we make everything dry. We leave on the leaves quite long. And I think most of what I've been doing is what I learned at Colin Reef. Yeah, so if we grow differently, we have a different canopy. If we have a different canopy, we have a different fruits. And if we have a different fruits, then we want to have a different climate. So, and I think quite often people think by comparing Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc and uh, Frank Sauvignon Blanc, it's expressed in the terroir. But it's, I think it's quite, quite different. It's almost like comparing uh, Wagyu beef against the American or Australian beef. Yeah. It's been grown completely different yeah. way. 16 vintage was... I think I was quite worried that because we dry farm it, we didn't have much rain in, at the beginning of the season and that was a big worry for us. But uh, during the uh, season we have a quite big rain in December and February which actually is the time that vine actually needed water the most and then because of that we've been having a quite, quite good Vintage. I think somehow Marlboro people also thinking they have to have a little bit of a different style. 